Hey guys, I'm out here in the forest as per usual. I hope the wind isn't too loud in the background. I asked you guys to ask me some questions on my YouTube community tab and on Instagram, so I'm gonna go through those questions. I thought it was time for a good old simple Q&A. Some of you guys left me more than one question, which like, you guys are the real MVPs. Thanks to everyone who left questions. Sometimes I'm scared like when I <laughs> ask something like that that I'm not gonna get any questions. Anything you would have done differently when you moved in your van? I definitely could have been more prepared in the beginning. By the way, it's not technically a van, it's an RV. I'm sure you know that, but just to clarify for those watching who may be new here or something, it is an RV, it's very small, kind of the size of like one of those sprinter vans I think it's all kind of just a learning process and you kind of just have to start somewhere even if you're totally unprepared and just jumping into it kind of like I did you're just gonna learn like as you go along what works for you and what doesn't work for you so all in all no regrets what music have you been into recently it needs some new songs to listen to um to be honest, I haven't been discovering a ton of new music these days, but I can give you a couple artists. Two artists that I've been really into are Carol's Daughter and Penelope Scott. And Carol's Daughter, I really like her songs Trailer Trash and her song Please Put Me in a Medically Induced Coma. And um, from Penelope Scott, I like, I love her song Lot of True Crime and her song Rat. I think you should definitely check those out. Three questions from this person, thank you. Um, what made you start a YouTube channel? What inspires your fashion sense? And what do you feel your purpose is in life? <laughs> Zero to 100 real quick. What made you start a YouTube channel? I think I honestly first had the idea for a YouTube channel when I was like, I don't know, like 15 or something because I always watched a lot of YouTube. When I was younger, it wasn't really the norm. Like most people watch TV or movies, <laughs> but I kind of was just like really into YouTube and I thought like I could do this. <laughs> I could probably start a channel one day. It took me about, I don't know, like seven years to actually do that. I don't really know what made me take the jump to actually get it started. I think I just like kind of finally figured out what I wanted to make my channel about. It turns out I was totally wrong, by the way. I wanted to do a channel kind of about like tattoos and alternative modeling. I don't really alternative model anymore and I haven't gotten a new tattoo in years. What inspires your fashion sense? Honestly, I just see things I like and I try to kind of emulate the vibe. For example, if I'm going through my Taylor Momsen phase, I'll only want to wear big band t-shirts and rip tights and heavy eyeliner, you know what I mean? But a lot of the times I do just go for comfort. I really love baggy clothes. I think they look cool and they're comfortable. What do you feel your purpose is in life? I'm not really one of those people that believes in that kind of thing. I think we're all just kind of here and the universe is chaos, but tell me if this makes sense, but I don't think that your whole life needs to have one purpose because I feel like you go through so many changes in life. It's kind of like a collection of different chapters, different moments, individual things you do could have purposes. For example, like that video I made about my experience in college, the fact that it like helps so many people feel less alone makes me feel like I went through all of that for kind of a reason to help others rather than it just being a meaningless bad thing that happened, you know what I mean? So in that way, I kind of do believe in purpose, but overall, I think there's none. I think I'm just kind of vibing. <laughs> Okay, this person left a ton of questions. Thank you so much. We'll just go through these one by one. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is this like really specific shade of lime green. It's like the color of, um, I think it's like cucumber lime Gatorade. That stuff tastes disgusting, but the color of that Gatorade is my favorite color. What's your favorite type of pet if you could have one? Well, I have two cats, so cats are probably my favorite pet. I also really like when people have pet foxes. I watch pet fox videos on YouTube all the time. I don't know if I could have one myself because those things like scream. I also really like hedgehogs for some reason. I've never had one. I don't even know if I've ever been up close to one in real life, but I just really like hedgehogs. A little spiky boys. Favorite food you never get sick of? Any Thai or Japanese dish that has chicken and rice and like some sort of sauce. I could eat that forever. Also ramen. <laughs> I love ramen noodles. I eat them like seriously every day. You seem really down to earth and mellow. What do you think made you that way? It's kind of funny actually. Throughout my whole life, I've kind of been labeled as like chill a lot. People call me chill, which I'm not really. I'm kind of like inside an overthinker, but I genuinely like wonder why. This is kind of a tangent, but I won't name any names, but certain people, especially YouTubers who get into drama, sometimes I wonder how these people have the energy 
I get mentally exhausted from like the tiniest, tiniest conflict and I just can't spare any energy to care about things that aren't super important. That's probably why I come off as chill to most people. Are you introverted, extroverted, or an ambivert? Definitely introverted. 100%. You seem like maybe a deep thinker. What kinds of things do you think about that you also like to talk about with people? Literally anything. Down to talk about anything deep with people. I'm very, very bad at small talk. Like, I can't even really hold a very good conversation if someone's asking me, like, what I do or where I live or where I'm from, like, stuff like that. I, I'm really awkward, but I think when it comes to, like, deeper topics, I can actually speak my mind a little bit better. So like literally anything, anything about, I don't know, philosophy, psychology, the human experience, whatever, like I'll talk about it. Let's move on to the Instagram questions. Van life tips. Um, I don't know if I have any specific tips because it kind of just depends on your situation. Like maybe just like to be prepared. I don't know, like take your van or RV or whatever, like on a weekend trip or something like that. Um, just to kind of get a feel for it so that you won't be too like overwhelmed. Fave fantasy world, Lord of the Rings, Star Wars, Chronicles of Narnia. Okay, you're gonna be mad at me. The only one out of those that I've seen is Star Wars and I could kind of do with or without it. Um, that being said, I really like the Star Wars video game. Star Wars Battlefront was one of my favorites when I was younger, but yeah, <laughs> sorry. Do you ever plan on moving back to a house or apartment? I mean, probably. It's not really something that's on my mind right now, but um, <laughs> probably I'll eventually have to do that. Um, I binged all your videos yesterday. Your vibe is so positive. Thank you so much. What do you do for work though? I don't. <laughs> I don't do anything. I had like some money saved up going into this lifestyle, but I mean, eventually I will have to do something. So I'll keep you updated. <laughs> okay, I had some screenshotted from various YouTube video comments. Let me see here. What important life lessons have you learned just generally throughout life that you wish others know too? There's nothing I could really, there's no like life lesson I could really say to you that would help you all that much because I'm kind of a firm believer that you really have to go through something to learn. You can sit here and like list everything I've learned but you're not really gonna get it until you've gone through something and you you learn that lesson yourself. Something that I've been kind of trying to teach myself is, I've said this before I think, but like not to get caught up in believing that a chunk of your life was ever a waste of time, a relationship, a friendship, a job, something bad that you didn't like. Sometimes it's easy to feel like angry or sad or mad that you were stuck in that situation or even blame yourself that you got yourself in that situation or whatever. But I really think that those type of things are not a waste because that's how you know not to repeat your mistakes. If you got out of those situations at the perfect time, then everything would work out perfect for you, but you wouldn't learn anything. You wouldn't know how to prevent situations like this in the future. My camera died, but I think what I was saying was basically you need to learn your life lessons yourself, but you also have to be aware of where you went wrong and be very conscious of the mistakes you made or just the situations that you that you wish you hadn't gone through so that you don't repeat your mistake, you don't end up in the same situations again. Do you have any favorite YouTubers currently? And is it harder to upload for you now that you live in the RV? Pretty much like the main two YouTubers that I've been watching for the past like year are the H3 podcast and Bailey Sarian. I'm a longtime fan of the H3 podcast back before they were even doing a podcast. And Bailey Sarian, if you don't know, does makeup and true crime. I think she's like the one who started that whole trend because I know more than one person does that but i think she started it i'm like so obsessed she's such a good storyteller if you're interested in true crime at all i would highly suggest you check out her channel I'll try to shout out some other ones let's see um i watched this youtuber called jessica Kobasi. she's a professional fashion photographer but lately as in like during the pandemic she got really into like reacting to old episodes of America's Next Top Model and I, I find that super interesting because I used to watch that show when I was younger and I didn't realize how like problematic it is. And is it harder to upload now that you're in an RV? Yeah, it, it actually, it is um, because, mainly because sometimes I don't have service. There have definitely been times where I've had to drive like 20-30 minutes to the closest town to sit in parking lot somewhere and upload my video. I think that is it. Thank you so much to everyone who sent in questions. You guys are the real MVPs. I loved answering your questions. I hope you liked this video and stay safe, stay cool. See you guys in the next video. Peace.